Notion just released a brand new IO note taking tool and it's actually pretty good. I've been using Circleback as my note taker of choice, but it is an extra monthly subscription. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the new IO meeting note taker, whether or not you should use it and ditch your current note taker and just how to use this new feature. So to use this new feature on a blank page, you can just click on meet at the bottom or you can also just type in forward slash meet and add the IO meetings block. So how this new feature works is it's basically just a transcription tool. So it will transcribe any of your audio. So this is your input microphone, which for me is this one over here and also just the audio of your computer. So it doesn't actually add bots onto meetings. It just transcribes and captures all of the audio that goes into your computer and then transcribes them into meeting notes. So basically it's just a transcription tool. And as you can see, you don't have to be on a meeting to use this feature. You can do it like what I'm doing right now, which is through recording this video and as you can see in real time it will transcribe all of the audio and then you can do with this text whatever you want and it is possible to create multiple meeting blocks as you can see here and on this one if I click on confirm consent and start it will start capturing the audio and the reason you have this is when you do capture the audio of a meeting you have to give consent to the people and what you can do is you can click on this button which will copy the message and you just paste this into the chat or you can click on this one which will then read that message out loud in an AI voice and if you want to change that voice you can click on the settings go to consent and then here you can change the text as well as change the AI voice and then on the meeting once you've given consent then it will start recording all of your audio as you can see here and while you're recording your audio you can always click on the settings and here you can change your input microphone and audio if you have different output devices you can change the language you can change the format so what type of meeting is it you can also just leave it on auto and then here you can pause the transcription so as you can see it will just pause it and here at the top you will also notice there will be a red circle when you do record so if you click on resume you will see it will continue to transcribe the audio and this little icon at the top appears again and then you can click on stop and summarize you can delete the transcript and then these are just the basic notion block settings so let's say i'm happy with this i'm going to click on stop and then it will turn all of that into a summary so as you can see here we have the summary of our meeting and during all of this whether you're recording or afterwards you can also have this notes tab where you can take notes so during your meeting you can just go here and quickly jot down any notes that you're taking from the meeting you can find the transcript over here you can actually edit the transcript as well and just apply any of notions formatting to it and here in the summary you can still go ahead and add whatever you want let's say a call out box add stuff inside so yeah this works like a normal notion text block and once it's been summarized the settings will change and you can resume transcription so you can actually just continue and you can also retry the summary so it will do it again but something else that is really cool is if you click the ask ai option over here then as you can see here it's using this current page and you can now ask it anything about your meeting you can tell it what is the action items you can ask questions about it so you can pretty much just prompt the ai to do whatever you want with this transcription and my favorite part about all of this is it works on your phone here in bali i do tend to take a lot of walks and just record myself talking into voice memos to brainstorm ideas or draft content and then i feed the transcript to ChatGPT. it works really well because you can talk faster than you can type you can give more context to ai and you also get your daily steps in but now you can do all of this directly inside of notion with a little transcribe button at the bottom meaning instead of having a big pile of voice memos on your phone you can have all of the transcripts inside of notion and you can also organize and sort them in a database so now that you know how the new notion io note taker works does it make sense for you to switch well here's a few pros and cons to consider one of the biggest benefits of using something like circleback author of fathom is it can identify speakers because it's a bot that joins the meeting but the notion note taker doesn't do that because it's just a transcription tool so that is something to consider is with your third party IO note taker it will actually show you who said what secondly circleback records the meeting automatically and saves it to your notes whereas the notion note taker doesn't do that it is just the transcription so you will have to record the meeting through zoom or google meets and then download it and upload it here to your transcript the third one is consent so when you have a third party note taker you don't have to ask for consent they do it automatically though this could also be a con because i know there's a lot of note takers that is just very obnoxious when they join the call it's like there's a message that pops up the chat they 
scream that the meeting is being recorded and it interrupts your entire conversation so that's very annoying circleback doesn't do that it's very clean and very subtle in the background as it should be but yeah so this could be a con as well but basically with the third party note takers you don't have to ask for consent with the notion note taker you have to copy paste that message or play the audio then obviously the biggest drawback of the third party note takers is it is a monthly subscription and it is also third party whereas with the notion note taker it's free if you have the notion ai and it is built into notion so you don't have to go anywhere else everything is already in notion and you can organize it there whereas the other ones is a monthly subscription and it is third party so that's probably the biggest reason why you would cancel the third party tools then we have bots so i've already mentioned this with identifying speakers and consent uh, but what i'm referring to here is it's actually annoying to have meetings where there's more ai note takers than people <laughs> like there's more bots than people on every single meeting that i'm on so yeah it would actually be nice that if there's three people that needs to be on the meeting there's only three participants and not a, like seven including the bots so yeah this would actually also just clean up the meeting then the next one is manual note taking so with the notion ai tool you can click on these notes and during your meeting you can just quickly capture any notes or ideas which is really useful whereas with the other ones that is not the case something else to keep in mind is you can edit the transcript in notion after the call so if something is wrong you can delete it or you can edit it but with some note takers that is not the case like fathom for example i don't think you can edit the transcript there it will send out the wrong transcript to the clients but with circle back you can so just keep that in mind as well and the last one which isn't that important at all for most people but something that is useful to know about is the notion note taker can work for in-person meetings it can even be for podcasts it can be conversations with your friends so basically anything in person that you're doing you can actually just record that quickly and easily with the notion note taker and obviously the third party tools aren't going to be able to do that you're going to have to set up a whole google meet and a zoom and invite them and add them for the bots to join whereas the notion note taker you can just quickly create a new page click on meet and start recording so yeah this is also really useful for just in-person conversations so is the notion ai meeting note taker better than software designed for the sole purpose of taking meeting notes probably not but is it worth removing another 25 dollar a month software from your ever-growing list of subscriptions probably am i going to ditch circle back i'm not sure yet for the next month i'm going to test both of these side by side and see whether or not it's worth ditching circle back but i actually really like circle back and in my opinion is one of the best note takers out there but we will see after 30 days let me know in the comments below what you think about notions new ai note taker what you want them to include and whether or not you'll be ditching your current one be sure to drop a like on this video if you found it useful thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one